I am here. So we're gonna do our nice little current event topic. Let's see okay. who's trending. Oh, Let's see oh, who's goodness. trending right now. Okay. Let me go on Twitter. Oh, okay. Chloe Bailey. Oh. And whoever's whoever's in the chat, we want we want we want to tap into Helen. Helen, give me a a, a love language. If, if you give pick of one of the five love languages. So this is gonna be my nice little question. Do you know the uh, love languages? Because some people don't be knowing. Like gifts. gifts. Of, okay, oh, okay. okay, gifts. Gifts, gifts of gifts. Affirma affirmation. So language. if you, so if you had to dress Chloe Bailey based on her love language, her, based off her love language, which is gifting, okay. how would you dress her? Oh my goodness. So I feel like gifting is uh, important in the love language and i think that when it comes to gifting people think like lavish things so i would right. more so pull uh one of the pieces that has like a faux feather um vibe to it it is a gown but it has a nice little cape to it i think putting um chloe in something that's more light so more of the, one of the neutral grounds would be really pretty against her skin tone um and it's fitted in the hip i think that chloe has an amazing shape so oh, yeah. you know we got to compliment this um, so putting like, putting her in one of the luxurious gowns that have more of the 40 feathering to it um, that is curvaceous and will fit her body. A cape, depending upon like where she's going. If it's like New York nightlife, capes are always fun. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's what I would do. I want to throw in a bonus one. Okay. What about her sister Haley? How how do you pronounce her name? Haley or Holly? Uh, maybe Haley. Yeah, thank you. I'm not sure. Oh we just know we know what we're talking about. Yes. Um, <laughs> um I I kinda you know, I don't like the fact that the way that they dress them totally opposite. I think mm -hmm. that I would want to dress Haley in a more complimentary piece to her sister. I would still keep it form fitting, but I think I would do a drop bust on her just because she has an amazing um, jawline. She has an amazing collar line. You know, we saw from the Little Mermaid, like the girlfriend, you know, she's beautiful. Um, so with that stated, I think that I would do something that shows more so a dropped collar and then a drop back. Like I would totally show off her shape um, and then put her in similar fabric. Okay, so you would dress them alike. I would. I would. Um, because I think naturally their personas and then just their overall uh, shapes will will transform the gowns and make them look totally different than, you know, what we're just seeing face value. I think Holly's shape is a little bit more pronounced because she's a mom and she has... I don't know. I'm just like, oh, look at this volume she got going on. Come right. on, new mom body. Right. right. It still awesome. look good, but it's like, okay, she's a little, just a little hint Her. of curls. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, girl, get it, get it. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right. 